Hello and welcome to another one of my reseller income reports. I've been doing these for a couple of months now to kind of give you a realistic look at a part-time resale business. Now I will say I have been reselling for a long time and I did do it full-time for a while, so I'm not exactly a beginner, but I do like to share my progress with you so that you can see what it's like running a reselling business on the side. So today I'm gonna to talk about our August sales. And first I wanna start out with how August went. August went okay considering we were gone for about 10 days in the middle of the month. We went out of town again. We went down to visit family. Um, ever since moving to Oregon, I, I'm really attached to my family so I can't stay away and we tend to go down there every other month or so to visit with them. So while we were out of town, I took my listings down from Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. I did leave my items up on eBay um, just with a 10 day handling time. So. Um, usually I would start with a 10 day handling time and then slowly lower it as I went, as I got closer and closer to coming home, but I totally forgot to do that and I just fixed my handling time a couple of days ago. So um, that might be why I didn't sell so much when we got back either. But I did make some sales while we were gone and when I did make a sale, I would message the buyer and make sure that they knew that my handling time was extended and let them know when I would be shipping their item and everybody was totally okay with that. I do have a video on what to do when you're going on vacation and I will link to that down below. So knowing I was gone for like a third of the month, my sales were okay. Um, they weren't great, obviously, because we were gone, but I'm pretty happy with them considering we were gone for a long time. So now I'm going to jump on the computer right here and kind of go over um, my numbers and screen share with you so you can see everything yourself. Okay, as always, I like to start with the work that went into it. So I record all of my time in this website called Toggle. Um, you can see it's recording right now and I'm recording the time that I'm spending making videos. So. Um, these are the reports and this is the report for August and this is all the things that I've done but if we just scroll down to reselling then you will see that I spent three hours and 22 minutes on my reselling business so less than four hours in all of August on my reselling business. Um, I spent 43 minutes cross posting on Vendu, 50 minutes doing inventory so that's just kind of keeping inventory, um, maybe sorting things to wash and just kind of handling inventory in general, um, 30 minutes taking photos, four minutes relisting items, um, probably through Vendu. Um, 20 minutes on Sellhound, which is what I've been trying out to um, list items. So what happens is you upload a photo and some basic information and they'll create the listing for you and then you approve it. Um, I will link to it down below if you want to check it out, but I did try it and I do like it. It's a little glitchy, but it definitely motivates me to list. It does have an additional cost, but for me it's worth it at this point and um, I'm using it and then I'm gonna try out another service and then see which one I like better but I will link to it down below if you want to check that out. Um, and then 53 minutes shipping. So a total of less than four hours reselling. So I really didn't spend a lot of time. Um, I did go sourcing once, which I guess I didn't put in here. So I spent, I think two hours at the bins and sometimes I forget to put that in here because I'm not sitting at the computer. So we'll say that I actually spent more like six hours on reselling in the month of August. So now let's go over to Vendu and I have my Vendu open and let's go over to analytics and look at August. So we're gonna do custom and we're just gonna look at August 1st through 31st. And you will see that I sold a total of 16 items, which is up just a little bit from July. Um, I listed 12 items, which is down a lot from July. I actually started using a sell hound in July and it really helped me list more. Um, and then I just wasn't around much in August and I wasn't focused on reselling. Um, so I didn't list as much. I listed 12 things probably the first week of August and then just stopped listing. Um, and then my average sale price was $47.49, which is up from $38.26, which is what it was in July. And that's basically because one really high price item, which I will talk about in a second. Um, my total revenue across eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace was $759.79. And my total profit was $472.36. Scroll down a little bit. I mostly sold in clothing and shoes and accessories, which is pretty normal for me. And if I didn't mention this, this is Vendu. I will link to it down in the description with a code if you want to check it out. But this is what I use to kind of manage my inventory and cross post things and relist things. So it's really helpful. And now they have this analytics feature, which I love. You can see revenue by marketplace, all that stuff. I really, the most, the thing I like to do the most is just scroll down here and see number of items sold by marketplace. Cause I like to kind of see where I'm making the most sales. So as usual, eBay, I'm making the most sales. I made nine sales on eBay, one on Facebook, one on Mercari and five on Poshmark. Um, I actually was having trouble getting things to cross post to Facebook. So I didn't cross post a lot of stuff to Facebook. It just was like glitching for me. So 
um, that's probably why that's so low. Mercari is usually a little bit higher than that, but I don't know. That's what it is this month. Usually I go to the consignment store and drop off stuff to sell and get some cash that way from stuff that I purchase at the bins. I go to the kids consignment store and the adult consignment store. And I try to do that at least once a month. I actually have the bag sitting right in front of me that I was supposed to drop off that I never did last month. So um, I'm gonna do that in the next week or so and that'll just have to go into September's profit and we'll see how that goes. Um, I only went sourcing one time in all of August and I spent like 50 bucks, I think, with 48.98. And then the only other profit I made was through Flip and Flip is something that I just recently started using and trying out. And with Flip, um, you can either consign your items like I was doing, I'm buying things from the bins and sending it to people to sell for me and they take a profit. So it's kind of on consignment. Or if you're a reseller, you can also go on there and get inventory. So if you don't have time to source or you just don't get really good inventory, you can sign up for Flip. I'll have a link for you down below and you can go on there and you can kind of like bid on lots that people put up and then they'll send the lots to you and you list it and then you guys split the profit however you um, agreed upon when you made your bid. So um, I have three lots in Flip right now and I have several items that have sold and I'm really liking it so far. So in August I got a deposit of $20.85 for about three items um, but I have another probably 15 or so that are listed. A couple others have sold and the payments are just pending so they'll be part of September's income but I did want to mention that that is something I'm trying. I do have one box that's into thread up, but the processing time is so long that it's not going to be processed till I think the end of October. So that is something that will also be future income. So right now it's really just me selling things even though I am trying to outsource more in the future. So that is my reselling report for the month of August. Like I said, it's a realistic look at a reselling side hustle and I hope this video has helped you out. Right now my main goal is to profit a thousand dollars a month per month by the end of the year. I think I will hit that, but it is going to take a lot more work than I'm putting into it right now. So I am going to make time in the next couple of months to really work more on it and build up my inventory more because that's going to be the key to making more money. So I realized after I filmed this video, I said I was going to talk about one item that sold for a lot that brought my average sale price up. And that was an Ikea couch slipcover that I purchased at Ikea in the discount section. I think it was 59, either 49 or $59. And I bought it like a year ago and was too lazy to list it. So that did end up selling on Mercari. I had it up for 350 and within I think about a week I had an offer for 250 and I just took it so that I could get it moved out of my office because it was a little bit big and I had to keep moving it around my office because I didn't have a good spot to store it. So I ended up making about $145 after um, shipping and fees and what I paid for the item. So that was a pretty good profit for me and that definitely bumped things up. So. I did want to quickly record this and add that in. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos about reselling and making money from home and building multiple streams of income. Thanks for watching. Bye.